Hello YouTube, and welcome to Simple Solutions with AI. I'm your host, Colby, and in this channel, we'll be exploring a wide range of topics where we use AI to help with various wants and goals. So whether you're a tech enthusiast, business owner, or just someone looking to simplify their life, this channel is for you. So let's get started and discover some simple solutions with AI. Hey guys, so basically all I'm trying to do today with this video is push people in a direction, give them some good questions, give them a way to explore ChatGPT, whether they're a beginner or an expert. I just wanted to give some of the questions that I ask, or at least the way I outline my questions, to push ChatGPT to do exactly what I need me to do, or it to do for me. So since it's a tool that's made to help people, I'm trying to get it to help as many people as possible. So the most important thing, or at least one of the most important things, in my opinion, because I've talked to ChatGPT quite a bit, I've played with it for hours for sure, um, you're gonna have chats that are above wherever you are right here. So this is a new chat, sure, but if you're playing with it, you're gonna have stuff above this, right? So it's kind of important to ask it to ignore all the previous chats above. This is going to make it so we're always talking about the question that I have at hand right here right now and then I need to give it some context. Basically I need to ask it or at least tell it that I'm new, I'm good, whatever the context may be, whatever you're working on at this time for your goals or your ideas. I'm a beginner to chat GPT since that's what I'm talking about today. That's what I'm telling it I'm new at. I've been on it for a couple hours. I'm not really a beginner, but maybe you are. So I'm a chat GPT beginner. I've been here 10 minutes. Now there's some context and we got some time to show that you can always be more detailed. You can put 20 different things right here in this detail portion where it's here's our context, right? After you've got that, what do you want from it? What's your task? Give it a task. Can you help me get my life together? Question mark. Now it's got a task. Now it's got some drive. Everybody needs their life a little bit better. So why not let ChatGPT help you? After we've got these three main things, we've got to do what I think is probably the most helpful part for me. I need a conversation. I get stuck about halfway through using this thing. I want it to ask me a question so I can answer back a question when we've always got a back and forth. So to do that, tell it to ask you a question. So you must always ask a question before responding that pertains to what the questioner asked. Does that make sense? So before I set ender, this is my general outline. This is what I do. Ignore everything else above. This is the question I have for you. This is my context for you. This is what I want you to do for me and ask me a question so that I can always answer that question and move forward in my conversation. If I think I'm gonna get stuck. If this offers me something I don't think I'm gonna get stuck on, you don't need that portion of it, but it's a really great way to start this if you're at the very beginning stages of trying to push your way through ChatGPT for whatever category. So we ask it, we press enter, and it's like, of course it understands, don't even know why you asked me, what does that make sense, what areas of your life would you like help with? Well, gee, thanks for asking. Um, I'm a terrible editor. Can you help me with editing? Bang. And we're off to the races. This is it. Do it all for your context. It's asking me questions. It's trying to push me further. I can dig deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Once you start with this up here, everything else becomes so much smoother. So best of luck. I hope this helps. If you guys got any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Thanks.